and uh, just got out of the locker room with the players um, and talked to those guys, you know, about uh, us working uh, to improve. You know, obviously in the first half, we needed to do a better job of uh, stopping the run with the quarterback. Um, you know, I thought we did a good job of adjusting to that in the second half. Um, you know, obviously Saquon ended up, ended up popping some runs on us, and they ran the ball uh, too effectively for us to win the game today. Uh, so we have to improve that for sure. Um, you know, you know, we're, it's 14 to nine at halftime. At halftime, and when you know, other team scores touchdowns and we kick field goals, typically that's not good. So we got to make sure we uh, handle that in terms of our, our uh, scoring efficiency in, on offense in the red zone as well. So to turn some of those threes into sevens, and that's going to be uh, big going forward. Um, you know, and then really, I thought the offense, in terms of uh, guys getting going, you know, we got we got Mooney going today, which is really good to see. I think that's a positive going forward. Um, you know, Cole Komet had three receptions again. We got him going, so it saw some more explosive passes, you know, in the past game. So that's a positive. Um, you know, I thought our kicking game was good, you know, at times. We really flipped the field. I thought it was solid um, and really gave us a chance to win. You know, then we come down at the fourth quarter. You know, we decided at 3.03, which I think was a great decision, at, at the punt and pin. They had 3.03. It was fourth and two. We punt and pin. We had three timeouts. We banged the first two right there. Um, and then... When Valus gets the punt there, we were going to have one timeout, you know, above two minute at midfield, you know, so that we we're going to flip the field right there. So that gives us a chance to go score that touchdown, go for the two point conversion to tie the game, you know. So I thought that was a good operation there, and you know, no one feels uh, as bad as Valus does, and we understand that. We're going to rally our team around him. Uh, we, you know, we obviously are our, our brothers in there, and we're going to rally uh, around Valus. And we told Matt at the end of the at the end of the game there for sure. But uh, with that, I open up to questions. Yeah, what in particular did Daniel Jones do to, to, to make life difficult there in the first half? Yeah, so they, they were running the, you know, the, the boot scheme, you know, and they were pulling guys with that, you know, so it makes it hard on the, on the linebackers in terms of their eyes. Um, so I think it was a good scheme, um, but we had, to, we had to adjust to it, and we needed to do it a little bit quicker. Um, you know, so uh, we made that adjustment. We ended up stuffing that play. Um, you know, going forward, but uh, he's a good athlete. You know, he's a lot faster than you think, um, and we know he's fast. And uh, he's a, he's a good player on the perimeter, and that's a, certainly a weapon that you can use on offense. Matt, how do you get better at that? Just defending the boot scheme throughout, whether it's in practice, is it more reps? What is it that you? No, it's just execution. It really is. It's just execution. You know, when you're you're dealing with uh, the out of the pocket movement passes, um, it's just execution by the defense, and you know, us coaching it up better. On Justin's fumble, I, I imagine that's a play, given all the things you preach, that's really going to bother you flying out of here. What, what was your vantage point on that one? Yeah, I would just say, you know, uh, you know, I had to look at the tape. You know, I'd be guessing. Uh, my vantage point was that it, I saw it was a fumble. Yeah. Um, you know, and I don't know exactly what happened on, a, on that play. I have to go back and look at it for sure. Dissatisfied with the, the level of chase from your other guys to go get the loose ball there? Um, yeah, I have to, like I said, have to look at it. Coach, you talk about uh, the first half, you guys gap integrity, but the second half seemed like you know you guys was concentrated on Saquon, was it enabled uh, you know that Jones to get on the outside. How right. do you fix that going forward? Yeah, I think it's just about consistency. You know, uh, we're, we're guys are in the in the scheme, and we just have to be consistent all the way through the game. And uh, you know that's going to be something we're going to preach this week and uh, do a better job of because apparently we're doing some good things in the second half. Obviously, we all we've all said that. But uh, we have to play 60 minutes, you know, uh, in this league. And again, like we said, we had a chance to tie it at the end, you know. So we, we were excited about having that opportunity for sure. What's your evaluation of Justin in the past game today? Like I said, I, I thought it improved. I thought it improved. I thought he. I thought he had a lot of, you know, you know, it's a blitz team. We were playing a blitz team, so I thought he handled that relatively well. Um, but I, like I said, I, I love the way he was throwing the ball down the field. That's going to open up some more things for us. Yeah, we can talk about your, your standards of play and hits and everything like that. Yeah. How do you evaluate whether guys are not uh, giving the effort they need to give or whether certain players just are limited and they're not able to play that way? Um, you know, I have to look at the tape. You know, we're going to obviously focus on, you know, the effort, you know, the intensity, you know, that, you know, us taking care of the ball, you know, in every aspect of it. And obviously we had to do a better job of that today. I think we came out even. You know, we, they got one on special teams. We got one on special teams. We got one on defense. They got one on defense. And, you know, they capitalized on the one. So um, that's basically the game right there. Uh, but we have to do a better job with that because we want to be on the plus side of that. You know, and then to answer your question, I would just say we have to go back and look at every play. We got to take methodical, take every play and say, hey, how, how can we improve on the principle?
do you see that the offense is, it, it hasn't played well, but do you see that it is headed the right way? And if you think that, then why? Yeah, I do. I do think that. And and I see positivity there in the passing game. I think we ran the ball relatively well today, but I do I do see progression during practice and I saw progress today. You know, and it was it was uh, that's a defense that has a lot of pressure and we still got the ball down the field, which was which was a positive to me. In the second half, I think you went three and out three times. I think you went four and out once. Um, how what do you need to do to get out of that rut? It seems like you guys have fallen into periods of time like that a couple of times. This yeah, time. I think a lot of times, and I have to go back and look at it, but to me it's about first down efficiency. You know, when you have first down efficiency and you're doing a great job on first down, it puts you in ahead of the sticks. That way in second down, hey, I got another first down. I don't even get in third down. Uh, but when you have a penalty, I know we had one of the uh, holding penalty on one of them, which pushed them first and 20. Um, that always hurts you. It's just, it's just hard to dig out of that. It just really is. And uh, you know, we've done a solid job of that, but it's, when that happens, it's always hard. Matt, do you have a sense for what fundamentally got away from Bayless on that punt return and, and causing him to I, I don't. I don't. I, I know there was wind up there. You know, it's swirling around a little bit because of you know the rain bands and all that. Uh, you know, but it, it comes down to being under the football, okay, squeezing your elbows, okay, and then tucking it, to, you know, high tucking it. So, um, yeah, I'd have to go back and look and see exactly what happened. When you view the, the decision to punt, you defended it in your opening statement. Do you yeah. view that as successful, given that you guys then forced a punt out of that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was great. I, I, to me, that was that – was, we, we banged the timeouts when we were supposed to. We let the other one go because we had the two-minute. We were going to get the ball above two-minute with a timeout at midfield because, um, you know, the, I believe the punter – out kicked the coverage a little bit. And we had Velas Jones back there. I mean, we were we had great blocking. There was a wide space uh, for us to be able to return that ball to midfield, and now got a drive there to be able to score. Like I said, and tie with a two point. And with Cody Whiter, you guys ruled him out very quickly. Is that an ACL or what's going on with him? Yeah, it's uh, you know it's a knee right now. So we're going to go back and look at it, and we'll we'll assess that, and we'll get that to you as soon as we got it. You're third and three at the five. We get a one-yard run from Herbert's fourth and two with the four, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the thought process and the conversation that goes on about whether to go for it or whether to keep up it? Yeah, those are all all numbers that we have going into the game. So, you know, if we were going to go, we were going to go. And if we were going to kick it, we were going to kick it. And you always got to look at the score. You know, you got to look at the time of the game and the score. And that's constant conversation that I'm having up, upstairs and with Getsy the whole time. You know, when he's going, when he's not going. And a lot of those times it doesn't work out. You know, I'm saying, hey, we're going on fourth and inches. Hey, we're going on fourth and three or better or less. That's all happening during the course of the game, and a lot of times, sometimes that happens, and sometimes we don't get to that situation. We end up punting. But a lot of times, when teams run on that third down situation, it's usually because they've decided it's no going doubt, out there. no doubt. When you're in that quad zone there, that's no doubt. That's that's exactly what you're getting there, and, and te teams that do that across the league. And how, how have you been splitting your time between offense and defense, and is that something you're going to change now because of how the offense is struggling? Uh, no, I've, I've split my time pretty much equally. You know, I'm in the quarterback room a lot. I'm with the defense. I, you know, I do it kind of, you know, in a, a rhythm of the week, you know, where I spend a lot of time with each position. So I'm, I get the chance to spend time with each position uh, on the team. Is there anything that can be done to jumpstart an offense to take advantage of when you do get a takeaway and, and to turn that opportunity into something? Because obviously the two today didn't really amount to much. Yeah, I mean, it's just about, you know, creating momentum. And it's all about getting chunk plays. You know, if you can create chunk plays, that's when you score. And that's that's what happens. You know, you look at any scoring drive in the NFL uh, this week, I'll guarantee it has some type of chunk play in there that scored. Very rarely you methodically go down the field not have an explosive play. Yeah. You know, run a run a 16 or a pass a 20, however you want to define your explosives. But um, certainly that's a, a key to it. One pass play. Two more. Is, is Justin seeing what you want him to see? feels like he, he's pull, pulling it down and running a lot. And I'm curious from your perspective if that is appropriate or, or if he's doing the right thing. Yeah, I'd have to look at the tape and, and, and for you know, specific examples that you're talking about. If you're going to talk about a specific play, I'd have to look at that for sure.